It was nice talking to you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Oh hi. Good morning, boys and girls. Today we will learn about electric and light energy. Visualize it a world where you can turn on a light, cell phone, or a computer. We use electric and light energy constantly in our daily lives, and today we will show you how it works. Come on. Okay, hello guys! Hello! Oh, what if we start talking today about energy and we can just fix it? Yes, why not? Let's go to start with energy. So, welcome to, to Science Spotlight! Okay guys, so today we are going to talk about electrical energy and light energy. Do you remember what is electrical energy? Electrical energy sucks light, current and electricity. Okay, so we will see which ones are the electricity. You have a computer, for example. Also, you have the light. The light travels in waves, like the class light. You will see now. Buenos días. Ahora les voy a explicar rápidamente en español qué es lo que vamos a trabajar en el vídeo de hoy. Estamos trabajando la energía y las formas de energía que nos tocan hoy son la energía eléctrica y la energía de la luz. Oh my God, my computer goes down and now I cannot do anything. What can I do? Here's a charger. Oh, thank you so much. Now with the charge, you can use your computer again because you can plug in it on the light. Hey, pues como les decía mi Rodríguez, los ordenadores necesitan energía eléctrica. Para eso debemos conectarlos a un enchufe. Mi Rodríguez, enséñaselo. When you have to charge, the electricity comes go from here to my computer. Oh my God, what happened, Mr. Vega? No electricity. Oh, let's go to find some solutions. We have our flash slider and you can play with it. Pues como han visto, cuando se va la luz necesitamos utilizar algo que utilice energía de la luz, como por ejemplo estas linternas. ¿Ven? Ahora puedo mirar todo gracias a ellas. Okay, and also we have like an example the lamps. What happened with the lamps? The last one you should turn, you have both electricity and light because it's connected with electricity, but at the same time you have the bumps that has the light. So you will see, guys. También tenemos las lámparas, otro ejemplo de energía, tanto eléctrica como energía de la luz. Como ven, si yo la enciendo se produce luz, pero va conectada a la corriente porque necesita electricidad para encenderse y apagarse. Okay, guys, also there are other devices that are using the electricity, like the phone, but you can use also your charge to put it on the light. Apart from that, you also have the option to put it like light when you switch on your flash. Also, you have the microwave. It's a very good example of light and electricity at the same time because you can turn on and you have the light inside at the same time it's connected with electricity. Yes, Miss Rodriguez. So you want me to talk in, in Spanish? Okay, I'm going to explain to all my Spanish students. Bye. Hey, voy a explicarles en español. También tenemos el microondas que utiliza energía eléctrica, incluso energía de la luz. Al igual que mi teléfono con el que hablaba con Miss Rodríguez, que por supuesto utiliza energía eléctrica, incluso si enciendo mi linterna, pueden ver que también utiliza energía de la luz. Miss Rodriguez, yes, I have just finished to tell in Spanish. You can come here and we can say goodbye to our students, please. Okay, see you. Hi, I'm here. Hey, Miss Rodriguez. So today, hoy hemos estado hablando sobre la energía eléctrica y la energía de la luz. Recuerden que ambas dos son formas de la energía y que pueden mandarnos vídeos sobre algunos ejemplos que encuentren en sus casas. Okay, so today we have been talking about the electrical energy and the light energy. So I thought that you have both different. So some material that you can have at home could have both of them. So you can record yourself and send us the videos on Friday to the folder that we have uploaded for you. See you soon in the Science Paradise. Bye.